Let's have a look at squaring and cubing with negative numbers. Okay, we're going to start off with these three different calculations. So, what does 3 squared mean? It means that you take 3 and you multiply it by itself, and that's nice and easy. The answer is 9. Now, if we take negative 3, this whole thing in brackets is being squared. Then all it is, is that you've got that whole thing multiplied by itself. And we know a negative times a negative gives us a positive, and of course 3 times 3 is 9, so this is also just 9. Now this one here, take note, this negative is not being affected by the squared. If we would want to have that negative bit being squared as well, we would have needed to put it in brackets. This squared just applies to the 3. It doesn't apply to the negative. So what we have here is we've got the negative, and then we've got 3 squared, which is 3 times 3. And so our answer there is negative 9. OK, how about you try these ones? Pause the video and try it now. OK, so 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 multiplied by 4 is 64. But hopefully you automatically know 4 cubed is 64. It's one of those ones that I always feel you should just actually learn. Um, all right, and in this one, remember it was the negative 4 that is multiplied by itself three times. You've got a negative times a negative. That gives you a positive. And then multiplied by a negative, so it's positive multiplied by negative now, gives you a negative. So this is negative 64. And here, remember that negative is sitting not affected by the cubed, so it's just negative and then 4 times 4 times 4. So this one is also negative 64. Okay, quick challenge. What will negative 1 to the power of 6 be equal to? Well, it's going to be negative 1 times 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 negative 1. Okay, so what are we going to end up with as the answer? Well, negative 1 times negative 1, negative times negative is positive. Negative 1 times negative 1, again, positive. And negative 1 times negative 1, again, will be positive 1. So what you've got is 1 times 1 times 1. So our answer will be positive 1. Check that you can make sure that when you work out negative 1 to the power of 7, you'll end up with the answer of negative 1. Try it out for yourself and make sure you see where that comes from.